Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of PTT5. Let's continue with the Mastery Mode updated series. I'll be using, as always, all the lab upgrades and uh, I'll be having the Engineer Special Building level 4. Uh, the intermediate track that I'm gonna do now is probably the easiest of uh, all the intermediate tracks. Uh, and it's gonna be Bloon of Clubs. Uh, playing this track in real way is going to be exactly the same because this track is a mirror track that means that if you place a line here halfway of the track the left part is exactly the mirror of the right part so uh, I think that spot is the best one for the engineer so I recommend just placing an engineer there leaving it on first and uh, you're going to be getting good piercing and at the same time, you're going to be covering the first portion of the track, but also the last one. So a 0, zero Engineer can pretty much pop all the balloons uh, for the first like 7 or 8 rounds. So you can uh, totally get a farm, get this farm 1-0, uh, and then upgrading the Engineer 1-0. So you're going to be having the Centrigans to help with the balloons poppage. As it is for uh, farms, I'll be placing the farms around this engineer so that I'll be using only one, um, you know, village for the farms and for the towers. And I think that's the best solution for, uh, for this track, you know. Using only one village uh, is going to make me save 1.9k. That is the cost of the extra village that I would need to have if I would place the farms too far away. So that's the one zero upgrade for the for the farm. You know, the engineer should be perfectly able to pop all these balloons. And uh, around nine actually is the round where you start struggling a bit, you know. So this is the round where I recommend uh, whenever you have the cash to get the one zero upgrade. So you get the engineer the sentry gun, sorry, that can start helping with the poppage. And that's pretty much it, you know. And then uh, just leave the engineer in first. In these kind of tracks, I, f I think the engineer in first is better than uh, the last. Because you're going to get good piercing even after the balloons start turning. So even if the balloons are like here, you still have some good piercing going on. So just leave it on uh, on first and in that way you're going to be protecting also the last portion of the track uh, in this round uh, I should be getting enough cash for the farm so I'll just sell that sentry gun that was in the way so that I can get a farm here before the round ends so that means that I'll be getting uh, the extra 80 cash so did I got both of the boxes? no, here we go wait a second here I'll get this and then okay okay, here we go I'll be using the normal, the last strategy that I found out that is getting first the 2-0 farms upgrade by selling one farm and uh, it gives you more cash at the end of the day so it's a better way, you know let's see here if I get enough cash for a farm before the run ends uh, no, okay alright here we go, another farm So, you know, uh, the engineer alone, zero, 0 could pop all the balloons until pretty much like round 9. So, the engineer with the sentry guns will be able to survive alone until round like 27 or 28. So, a ton of rounds that uh, you want to use to place all the farms that uh, you need to. And... Uh, that should 
definitely give you an advantage for the late game. You know, the early the f you get the farms, the more you get them, the earlier you, up you upgrade them, the best it is. And uh, just be careful, you know, if the balloons start, stack start stacking up to um, place raw spikes or at least control the exit path, you know, so that you don't have any bad surprises, especially uh, in this round, round 22, for the leads that are going to have two uh, black balloons inside of them. All right. Let's see if I get enough cash here. Yes. I'll be selling this farm anyway later. So, oh, I couldn't place it in the round because there were some centrigans here in the way. So sad. All right. At this point, you know, around round 24, um, it's time to place our farmer. And this farmer, if you actually have it unlocked to the pro version, is gonna be so much better because it's gonna allow you to place the bananas here in this portion of the track. And therefore the balloons here are gonna bounce back and forth and you're gonna be destroying them with the sentry guns and with the engineer. So a very nice spot for the farmer. And if you definitely have the pro version, it's even better. Uh, but you know, it's up to you. So let's say I have no sentry guns onto the track right now. So that may be, a, that may be a problem. Okay. Okay. Another farm. Okay. I survived. Yeah. I sold the two, uh, sentry guns there to place the farm earlier. So the sentry guns didn't spawn until now. Uh, so that's why, you know, I struggled a bit. Okay, this is the round where you have to be extra careful um, because there are some regrowth blooms and uh, actually the rainbows at the end. And you know, uh, just be careful about being able to pop everything. Don't place other towers. Don't place, for example, normally I place a ninja around this time, but I'm not going to be placing it. I'll just get all the farms upgraded. Because the engineer with the farmer, with the sentry guns, is going to be more than enough to pop all the balloons in these rounds. And uh, so just focus on that, you know. Okay, let's get a village here. Uh, try to place it the closer you can to the farms. So that later on, you're going to be able to place an ace here, still in range of this village. Okay, around 29. Now, here we go. Around 30. Um, yeah, I'm short of cash anyway to get this farm 3-0. So instead of just continuing with this, with just the engineer, you know, I'll place the, the ninja here for round 31. To one and getting the village one zero here we go so with the extra popping power of the ninja um you should be able really to survive all the rounds until around like 36 or 37 so um in this case i'll just focus on getting farms i'll get another farm three zero and uh, um, I'll get a factory before round 37 even begins. And that is just, you know, how easy this track becomes uh, when you have a pro farmer that will be, will be sending the blooms backwards at the beginning of the track and you're gonna be having a ton of time to pop them. Let's see here. All right. Just, you know, checking out that I can actually pop everything. I don't want to be surprised by any weird loon. All right, here we go. 
So 2.6, that should be enough cash here. Because 6.6, .6, this is 6.4. So this is 13k cash. So that should be enough cash, you know, for the factory. Yeah, because I'm under the range of a village. So the factory, the last upgrade is going to cost... Um, 15.1k and not 16.8 uh, that is the normal cost all right uh, for around uh, 37 you know pretty much as usual the camo leads i'll just place uh, an apprentice there zero two and i'll start upgrading this ninja Those are the camo leads. Yeah, here we go. Easy. I'll keep the apprentice one more round until I have enough cash to get the ninja for two. Okay, that's definitely better. Now I can just sell it. I'll get the engineer one three. Uh, and uh, you know, just placing all the normal towers that uh, I get normally. So, for example, I'll place a bomb here in the left side of this ninja. 3-2. Then I'll place a glue gunner here, actually on the front of these towers. Like here. And, uh, you know, that should be enough for the mobs, you know, in order to pop them. You should pop them up pretty easily with this setup. And uh, now I'm going to try placing here a balloon chipper the further I come from the village. Okay, here we go. Something around here. I'll get two of them. Why not? All right. I have already the village to one, so... I get the fa the glue gunner two two. And why not? Let's start upgrading this blue chipper here. Uh, for round forty three, even if there are more mobs, um, you should be able to clean everything up with uh, you know the ninja, the bomb. Uh, but you know in this case because I have the cash, I'll get just the blue chipper now. But uh, it's up to you, you know. And uh, yeah, so in this case, for example, I already have the village, so I'm able to place this farm you know, a bit further. So uh, I can start focusing back again on the farms. Actually, I think I placed that one badly. All right, two zero. That's the BFB around 46 with one mob, with one blue chipper for two, you should be more than good, you know? Then I'll get uh, early, an early four two bomb here. I'll get an early three two glue gunner. You know, all the towers that I normally get later on, I'll get them earlier so that uh, I will be able to survive even with uh, um, less towers, you know? So I'll get that, and probably here. Yeah, I'll get another one of these three zero farms. So probably next round I'll be able to get the another factory. You know, why not? All right, so these mobs here may be annoying. So just get another rune chipper. All right. So I'm going to delay one more round the, the next factory. But in this case, I already got two rune chippers. So I'm good also for round 54, if that is the case. So I can sell this. 
All right, second factory. So let's see. So why can't I place this farm here a bit more close to the... Oh, well, that's the closest, I guess, to the village. I'll get the 2-2 village so that, uh, you know, camos are not going to be a problem anymore. Okay. And actually for round 54, I may get here uh, a very nice, uh, a very nice 3-2 ice tower, you know, just to control the the ceramics in round 54. I'll be selling that 3-2 ice tower later on, but just to be sure of, you know, being able to pop everything, I'll just get it and I'll get a 2-3 ice tower. Right, with that definitely I should be able to survive round 54 and all the next rounds. So I can totally focus on the factories. So I, I'll sell this one. I'll get this one. All right. I'll place this again. Three zero. So, uh, very easy gameplay, you know, um, I'm not really worried about anything at all. Right now I have a ton of factories. I have actually all of them right now, round 57. I'll start getting faster through the rounds. I'll get the two, three village so that I can get also a very nice ace here. Uh, let's see the further I can here for round 63 after getting this ace i'll sell now the two three ace tower and probably also this uh this three two ice tower too and uh, right now um i'll place one more bloom cheaper here you know that should be in range of the village, yeah. Okay, here we go. So three Bruin Shippers, and now it's just waiting. Waiting until round 71, 70, 71, you know, to get cash. And uh, after that, I'm gonna just pause a bit. I'll get all the sacrifices. Uh, I'll sell all the farms, you know, all the things that I need to. And I get a tempo, and then for the last until from round like 72 until round uh, 85, I'll be using the tempo. In that way, the gameplay is gonna be even faster. And that's all there is to do about this track. Pretty easy track. Uh, I think the easiest of the intermediate tracks. Uh, and it becomes even easier as you've seen in this gameplay, if you have the farmer unlocked to pro, because uh, with just engineer one zero and the farmer uh, sending the bananas onto the track and distracting the balloons at the very beginning, you're gonna be able to survive a lot more rounds than normal. And uh, you are gonna be able to place so many farms and getting so many upgrades that you can get a factory around, around uh, uh, 36 or 37 and after that you know when you get a factory that early everything else becomes uh, easier you can get all the upgrades that you want uh, you can place a ton of uh, blue cheapers you know early and so on and uh, yeah it becomes pretty pretty easy so now it's just you know, waiting for the cash, because uh, 
This track is so little, you know, the best spot for the tempo would be the very center, pretty much where the village is. So uh, I'll be needing to sell all the factories that I have placed because I don't want the factories to get sacrificed. Uh, I don't need them uh, to get the tempo stronger. And uh, in that way, you know, I'll be getting cash back by selling the farms, selling the ace, selling the ninja, uh, the engineer, the bloom shippers, the towers that I don't need to get sacrificed. And, uh, and I'll be building, you know, the temple and all the rest of the sacrifices that I need around the center. And then uh, I'll get, you know, again, a village. I probably am gonna get some one ace again, and then I'll get some snipers. So uh, all of that, you know, without having any more of the factories. So that's why I'm waiting here uh, some rounds to accumulate the cash so that I'll be having no trouble placing afterwards, you know, all the other towers. So around 70, 71. So I'll wait one more round. Okay, this is around 71, so I'll just pause here. All right, so that's it. So I'll sell this village and I'll get the uh, super monkey that is gonna be the temple you know also the engineer I'll build again the village because I need the a village two three to get sacrificed and also in that way I can get uh, the sacrifices I can upgrade them for less cash because they're gonna be in range of the village you know so I can sell rune shippers I can sell the ninja then I need the two three bomb so I'll get it, uh, I don't know, here. So two, three bomb, then I need the blue gunner, two, three. Then I need to sell the farmer and the factories and the ace too, because the ace was in range of this uh, super monkey. Then uh, Ice Towers, 3, 2, and 2, 3, and uh, uh, Apprentices, 1, 2, 3, 2, and 2, 3. So Bombs, Glue Gunners, Apprentices, Ice Towers, a Village, and a Super Monkey. So those are all the sacrifices that you need to get the most stronger the strongest tempo you know without spending a ton of cash so i'll get another village here i build it to three i'll get the tempo for two uh, i'll just leave the tempo actually in last here i'll get uh, an ace here here we go and then i'll build the four snipers because the tempo is going to be in range of the whole track and therefore is going to be able to attack the balloons from the very beginning from when they come into sight so four zero four one and then two snipers here outside four zero four one here we go so i'll just uh continue faster and with this strategy uh the snipers should proc the cripple mob on the zomai gods and therefore the Zomagats will almost not move. The temple is set, is set on last, so the beam is gonna damaging the balloons in this very nice uh, direction, you know, getting through all of them. The temple has unlimited popping power. That means that the sunbeam is gonna be piercing through, even if there are like millions of balloons, it's gonna be piercing, piercing through all of them. And then I got the ace there, the 4 zero ace helping the temple and uh, doing some extra damage. And that's that's pretty much it, you know. 
I prefer using this strategy for the last uh, rounds because a lot of the my gods come out after round uh, 79 and I think the tempo is the fastest way to uh, clear you know the track to pop all the balloons having uh, the minor lag possible so that's it that's why I built it and uh, yes so now you know it's just a matter of uh, getting through all the rounds uh, there is no further commentary so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and when it's over I'm gonna just stop it see ya bye bye